So, folks, we know two things about Donald Trump above all. His rallies continue to fail and shrink and become more and more pathetic. And this man, despite not being the most handsome man in the world, is utterly obsessed with his physical appearance. And both of those things led to utter humiliation this evening at his latest rally speech, whatever you want to call it. So hit the like and subscribe button as Diaper Dawn got exposed again and so did his fake hair it's absolutely hilarious what happened but we have to set the context a little bit because we know this man is absolutely insane of course and deeply obsessed with how he looks and deeply obsessed with how the rest of the world including his own allies obsess about his appearance or talk about his appearance and just yesterday in the run-up to this rally he flipped out at fox news of all people not for any policy-based disagreements not because they covered his rallies incorrectly not because they covered his legal troubles accurately or what have you but because they used pictures that he feels makes him look ugly that when they write articles about him and share news about him they share ugly pictures and it says here donald trump ramped up his latest feud with fox news on wednesday by accusing the conservative cable giant of purportedly using the absolute worst photos of him for on-air stories in standard trumpian online fashion the ex-president claims supporters have come up to him compl to complain about how the network portrays him after praising a maga lawmaker's appearance on fox revealing he was turned into the channel on wednesday morning trump wrote on true social that three people in new hampshire asked me why fox news uses such horrible pictures of me when doing or promoting a story the coloring distortions and everything are just so bad they must sit and look at a hundred shots and then take the 10 absolute worst adding that his staff has even complained about it for months but to no avail trump then took a pointed shot at fox recent decline in viewership there's just such bad news but i'm leading in the polls by record numbers so perhaps their bull s word is just not working he concluded they are down 37 percent for a reason and so diaper dawn with his hair going everywhere a man obsessed with his appearance exposed wearing a diaper tonight his hair falling off his head at a friendly speech and even the crowd was in disbelief he looked horrible by all accounts he smelled horrible but as you'll see here i have to bring you the dangers of donald trump just because we mock him this speech was maybe his most dangerous ever and because it was to the moms for liberty to one of his most dangerous audiences ever but stick around for the end where you see him literally dissolve like a maniac you know many presidents never get the opportunity to appoint a supreme court justice i had three they are going <laughs> They are, they are not happy about that. And maybe we'll get three or four more, can you imagine? Let's get seven. Let's have, let's have seven or eight or maybe even nine. And yesterday, as an example, they ruled, such a big ruling, to set our country back on a merit-based system of education. Three years ago, in September of 2020, I proudly signed the world's very first ban on critical race theory, vanquishing those racist trainings from the federal government long before anyone else had even heard of the term. Most people have never heard of the term to counter the left's heinous lies about American history. I also created the 1776 Commission to promote patriotic education for our youth because we want our children to love america as much as we love america when the rioters and thugs came to tear down the statues of our great heroes in washington i immediately signed an executive order stating that anybody who even lightly defaced a federal monument or statue would get 10 years in federal prison and that doesn't mean 10 years equals two months it means 10 years a full 10 years it was amazing how that stopped. Do you remember how quickly it stopped? It stopped instantaneously. <laughs> to combat the anti-American radicals and provide positive examples for our youth, I announced the construction of the National Garden of American Heroes, a vast outdoor park 
featuring statues of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Betsy Ross, Benjamin Franklin, Susan B. Anthony, Frederick Douglass, and other great Americans, really great Americans. We were going to put it down. We're starting with 100, and then we'll end up with a lot more than that. We were going to have committees pick the first 100, and it would have been really something special. Joe Biden canceled the National Guard like an American-hating socialist would. He also canceled the Keystone Pipeline, if you remember that one. That was a beauty. First day, canceled the Keystone Pipeline. 48,000 jobs and something that would have been fantastic for energy. I will bring all of that back, and I will now be even bigger and more magnificent in terms of the garden. We will have something that will be really magnificent and something that you'll love and you'll visit and really something that our country needs. We need it for our spirit. If patriots like all of us here today remain united, we will be unstoppable. We're unstoppable. There are many more of us. Look, who wants policies where they say open borders, where we have people coming in from all places that nobody even wants to discuss? They say, you shouldn't say that, sir. It's not nice. But who wants open borders? Who wants no voter ID? Who wants high taxes? Who wants high interest? Nobody can buy a house now because interest rates are so high. We were energy independent a little while ago. Now we're begging for energy from Venezuela. We will put parents first, we will put children first, and we will put America first again. The radical left is even slandering moms for liberty as a so-called hate group. You're a hate group. You are a hate. You hate your children. You hate everybody. You're a hate group. Can you imagine? Moms for Liberty, hate group. I'm telling you, these people are sick. But Moms for Liberty is no hate group. You are joyful warriors. You are fierce, fierce patriots. You're not the threat to America. You're the best thing that's ever happened to America. Joe Biden and the Democrat communists are the threat to America. And together we're going to throw them out of office on election day of 2024. I believe it's going to be the most important election. If patriots like all of us here today remain united, we will be unstoppable. We're unstoppable. There are many more of us. Look, who wants policies where they say open borders, where we have people coming in from all places that nobody even wants to discuss? They say, you shouldn't say that, sir. It's not nice. But who wants open borders? Who wants no voter ID? Who wants high taxes? Who wants high interest? Nobody can buy a house now because interest rates are so high. We were energy independent a little while ago. Now we're begging for energy from Venezuela. We will put parents first. We will put children first. And we will put America first again. If the corrupt persecutions of our people succeed, they will complete their takeover of this country and destroy your way of life forever. And I don't believe there'll be any coming back. You know, the way we say you'll come back, you can't come back. Once they get their claws in there, you won't come back. Maybe in a hundred years, you won't come back. They want to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away your freedom. They want to silence me. Oh, would they like me to be silenced? They would do anything to silence me because I will never let them silence you. It's very simple. In the end, and you know this better than anyone, they're not after me, they're after you, and I'm just standing in their way, and I will continue to stand in their way. As Biden corrupted the Department of Injustice to cover up his own crimes, he recently ordered his top political opponent arrested. Oh, wow, that's me. That's me. I was arrested. And every time my polls go up, we're leading them by a lot. Byron knows that. We're leading them by a lot. Every time they go up, they get more and more radicalized and vicious. But right in the middle of a presidential election, Biden is losing very badly, and they had him arrested me. She was the that's my cousin. Cousins. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Like, he looks terrible there. He looks terrible. He's moving like he has a diaper on. People have been noting he's diaper dawn again. Hair everywhere. Just looks awful. Toupee, wig, whatever you want to call it. Maybe it's real. Maybe it's real, but it's fallen off, whatever it is. What we know, guys, is this is a man obsessed with his appearance. The reason he mocks women to insult them, especially women, not exclusively, is because he's so insecure about how he looks. Just like the reason he mocks Joe Biden for his age and for his supposed mental fibility is because Trump is deeply worried about his own age and his own mental weakness. This man gave one of the most dangerous speeches he ever has. But we also have to remember that at the end of the day, he's a deeply shallow, pathetic, vain ugly person more outside than just as much outside as he is inside 